Child, now I've been noticing y'all out here arguing. And what y'all arguing about is Phaedra coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because she said, you know, she would entertain it or whatever. And, you know, they've tried to reach out or whatever the hell it was. No. No, ma'am. I, I, I like Phaedra. Now, I don't like the shit that Phaedra did to Candy. Okay? I don't like that shit. I like Phaedra, but it's a no for me. And the reason why I keep saying this is, and I'm going to keep screaming it to the, to the cows come home because I don't think folks get it. Bringing back a whole bunch of damn OGs that we have seen that made great TV magic umpteen years ago is not going to fix Real Housewives of Atlanta. If they're truly going to go the reboot route, not the reboot route that they did with New York, but the reboot route that they went to with Miami, you get two OGs that's going to be... <clears throat> Full time, you get two OGs that can be some friends of that might pop in every now and then. And then you get two more full time housewives that are people that we totally have never met before, don't know ish about, but got the coin. And you bring in an additional friend of with the coin that we don't know. That to me would fix it. I'm tired of y'all asking for Nene. I'm tired of y'all asking for Phaedra. And God, if you asking for Zim Kim Zoziak, you need your fucking head checked. Because she damn sure don't need to be on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Phaedra, I don't care to see on there. I thought Heavenly had already said Phaedra was set to come back to Married to Medicine next season. So keep Phaedra over on Married to Medicine. There is no need to bring her back because Candy is gone. I personally... I'm not, you know, and some people be like, well, they glad Candy gone. I'm not going to say that I'm glad Candy's gone. I think it's been time for Candy to go ahead and extra stage left. I think Candy needs to go on her Lisa Vanderpump route with uh, Candy in the game and go on and do that. She has an easy relationship with Bravo. She's been easy to work with. They don't have any issues. She's made Andy a lot of damn money and herself a lot of damn money. So what you do is you build on it, but then you go another direction. And she gets out here and she chases her ego and does the damn thing that she's supposed to. In my eyes, Candy played her cards right and she's done what she needs to do with Real Housewives of Atlanta and it's over with. Okay? We don't need to go back and dig in the crates and get and get Phaedra. Because again, it's not needed. <clears throat> it's honestly not and truly respectfully, it's not needed. If it's not. Again. I love what we're doing now. Let's uh, now if we're gonna do it again, follow the Real Housewives of Miami uh blueprint because they killing it over there and the ratings are good and they moving the moving the story forward. It's a good is is up there. Okay, ratings is high on it, like behind Beverly Hills. So do it. In the words of Nike, just do it. But Phaedra, baby, is not needed. And, and and I'm just going to be honest with y'all. When folks leave, it's time for them to exit. There's only so much you can get out of a person on reality TV. Once that hits, you need to move on to something else. And Phaedra is not needed. I'm just saying that. I like her and everything, but baby girl ain't needed. Keep her over there on Married to Medicine. And, you know, get rid of Eric Fuller and them as producing. And get somebody like Pervez a pop. That's producing Miami and Beverly Hills to go on and step in and take over um, Real House of, of Atlanta and actually have them take over Potomac too because that needs help as well. Just my opinion. But Phaedra ain't needed.